Well, Julian's work is really unique because he's not just happy to, you know, draw something on a piece of paper with pastel. He really almost takes the pastel into a whole new range of media. He transforms the paper on which the pastel sits in, in such a way that the, the paper vanishes and it becomes almost the medium of pastel itself. Julian Martin, he really distills form uh, in a really amazing kind of way, sort of a, a transformer or a transmuter of sort of uh, popular culture into something that's almost uh, mysterious or even arcane, kind of a pop artist in reverse. This use of color is really incredible in that kind of process too. I came to know Julian's work through Arts Project Australia here, and I was a guest curator of an exhibition in 2011, I believe it was, called Detours Through Abstraction. But Julian just struck me as an amazing artist. So I kind of, in some ways, built the show around Julian's work, in a sense, and he was one of the highlights of, of the show. So Julian was one of our first forays into seeing what self-taught art might look like in the 21st century. We began re representing Julie Martin at Fleischer Ullman because we included him in a large group show. And yeah, Julian was a standout in that exhibition. Julian has had several major achievements, mainly in Australia, but uh, some interesting ones in the States as well. I know in Australia, Probably the most important show that I can think of is the Museum of Old and New Art show, which was organized by the Museum of Everything, which is a sort of peripatetic nomadic museum based in Europe. So it was exciting to see Julian alongside of some of the great self-taught artists of the 20th century. The show is in Australia, the National Gallery of Victoria. I believe it was a Melbourne Now show from uh, several years ago, a really important show. We showed him at the gallery as well at Fleischer Ullman in Philadelphia in several group exhibitions where we introduced his work to people in Paris, to people in New York, um, people in Miami. And we've had some amazing um, responses to Julian's work. We got Julian in his first public collection, a museum collection in the United States through presenting his work at the Armory. Nicholas Party organized an exhibition with his own work at the Flag Art Foundation in New York in the context of other pastel artists, both living artists and deceased artists, both contemporary and modern artists. And Julian is finding himself within that context at the Flag Art Foundation, which was wonderful. So Julian was showing alongside not only Nicholas Party, who organized the show and made art for his own exhibition, but amazingly high profile artists like Wayne Thiebaud, Edgar Degas, Marie Cassatt, so artists from across the spectrum of contemporary modern art. And that's a, that's a true achievement for an artist. Um, and so when this happened with Julian Martin, I mean, we were very excited. And uh, this is an amazing thing to have happened to uh, an artist who is still alive today. <laughs>